Next up, we have Car Ooh. Next up, we have Caroline Stickley. If you know her, then you know how dedicated she is to all of her activities she participates in, as well as everything she does. She always gives her all, and she's very inclusive. We can't wait to hear what you have to say, Caroline. Great job, Hunter. When I was little, my dad and I always enjoyed going out to eat together. Our various lunch outings are some of my fondest memories of my childhood. But one particular lunch at Jimmy John's is one that I think about every day. As some of you may know, the staple of Jimmy John's decor is their wall full of signs. On this day, I was reading a sign that read, if you don't ask, the answer will always be no, in bold lettering. This quote struck me because I had never thought of this concept before. As my shy, anxious elementary school self, I believe this quote meant I should ask more questions, even if I was afraid to. However, as my life has progressed, this quote has developed a new meaning to me, beyond just asking questions. Although Mr. Bat knows, I still do ask a lot of questions. This quote has been the driving force in getting myself to take small risks. Taking risks is crucial because not having the courage to do so will create regret. These smaller calculated risks have had the potential to benefit me at best or at worst teach me something new. For example, I signed up to go on my first moon dance trip freshman year, as many of you also have. This was a risk for me because I had previously had a history of homesickness. When I used to go to summer camp, I would not fall asleep at night and ended up leaving early one year. This fear progressed into middle school as the night before the sixth grade trip, I cried and begged my mom to let me stay home. These experiences from elementary and middle school had stuck with me so you can understand how going across the ocean to Spain and Morocco for two weeks without contact was a scary concept for me. I ended up having the best time and gained newfound appreciation for travel and other countries' cultures, which you can go find on my Caroline Traveling Instagram account. Um, in a similar fashion, I tried out for lacrosse for the first time freshman year. I understand it's not sound like a huge risk to some of y'all, but up to this point, I had spent my entire life playing tennis. So athletically, I felt way out of my element, and I was opening myself up to a new team environment that I had no experience with. You see, when you play tennis, you're constantly competing against your teammates for a spot in the top six. However, a lacrosse team cannot be successful unless the team plays together. My biggest fear was that I would fall behind my teammates in the sport. This turned out to be true. I did not know how to pass, catch, cradle, or shoot. Regardless of my shortcomings, I've grown to be a good teammate and a decent lacrosse player. Coming from no experience to being on varsity, thank you, thanks to the support of my Baylor Lax girls who have watched me grow. I have take, taken other risks. In August, I went skydiving, which is obviously terrifying by the nature of jumping out of a plane thousands of feet in the air. I've run for Honor Council four times, two times successfully, two times not so much. Um, last year, I chose to take AP Spanish language, which a special few of you know is quite a struggle and has been the hardest class I've taken at Baylor. Despite the, experiencing some challenges, I've learned the importance of not letting fear of failure being alone, or criticism hold me back from pursuing possible interests of mine. If I had not developed a risk-taking mindset, I probably would not have discovered these hobbies and experiences. There's so much value in taking small risks. Whether it's going on a trip without your parents, putting yourself out there and running for a leadership position at school, or standing up here and giving a speech. Baylor has truly given me, my, given me a platform where I've been able to take chances, feel comfortable in my own skin, and fully adopt the mindset behind, if you don't ask, the answer will always be no. To everyone listening, please don't take for granted the opportunities given to us here at Baylor. Take risks, feel comfortable failing, looking stupid, or falling short. This is truly a unique and special time for us, where we have our friends and family close to us as support, and we have the opportunity to push ourselves in ways that could ripple into something greater. To my friends, thank you for being the funniest and most supportive people ever. I don't know what I'll do without you all next year. To my teachers and mentors here at Baylor, thank you for pushing me to be the best I can be. To my brother Thomas, thank you for always being there for me when I'm not the best sister sometimes. Um, to my parents, thank you for loving me unconditionally, investing in my passions and interests, and investing in my passions and interests. I could not have asked for better parents, and I love you all so much. And to the class of 2025, y'all have made the last seven years so memorable, and I'm excited to make the most of our last 211 days here together. Thank you all.